Welcome to my take at the lake. So we'll just start at the top and I'll give you a little tour. I had so many different ideas going into this. Um, I thought at first I would do 12 of everything. And the first thing I did was make 13 journals. Whoops, you know, English major, can't count. <clears throat> and then I was gonna do sort of like the 12 days of Christmas. I'd do 12, 13 mini journals and 12 bookmarks and 11 postcards, blah, blah, blah. But every time I did a segment of it, that idea changed and by the end of it, because I gave myself about, I wanna say three weeks maybe three and a half weeks to do this. Um, it ended up just doing as many as I could get done of each thing for that day. <laughs> uh, just, just so that I wouldn't have a naked tree to show you uh, at the end of this junk journal themed Christmas tree challenge. The good news is I did it. The good news is I had a lot of fun. The bad news is I have trashed every corner of my working space, kitchen, studio. Holy smokes, have I made a mess. But it was fun. It was fun. And I can't wait to show you some of the aftermath, some of the things that I'm, um, I'm doing after this or as a result of this with my scraps and such so stay tuned there's some aftermath videos so let's just quick tour uh, you saw the uh hopefully you saw it if not i'll i'll post the link below i gave a quick tour of each little book um, each has a little personality of their own they're all different they all have been punched stamped decorated laced whatever um they're all unique in their own little way uh i didn't do a full flip through of all but you get the point of it so there's 13 mini mini journals they all have either one or two signatures some are fabric covered some are paper covered some are napkin covered and I think the next thing I did was the round thing. <laughs> I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. But what I ended up making are these little, they're little notebooks. They're little tearaways, little notebooks. And they have uh, various pages in them, just like the journals. Um, some wrapping paper. Most of it's craft paper from paper bags or um, coffee dye paper, easy to write on. And they're twin side twin sided and I just used a brad um, I used my big bite to make the hole one hole through two covers and all the pages and then put a a brad that I had uh, colored with my alcohol inks through them so I want to say there's 10 10 or 11 of these There might just be 10. I, I said I I just quit counting eventually. The next thing I think, um, and all of these were the same. I had a whole bunch of round covers. They're all a little tiny bit different. Some have music on the front. And I did this, this little guy size and a little bit bigger, bigger one. It was all from one kit. This one I added um, music over the top just for a different look. So if they spin, they're fine. And they kind of look like bulbs. I thought that that was one of the reasons I wanted to do round things because you gotta have bulbs. So those are all pretty much the same. I think I missed tags tags came up oh, I took it off um, I found a whole bunch of tags from I believe it's Artie Mays and there were some from Artsology that I purchased last year to go in my altered book that I bought all the stuff to start and never did um, when I pulled all that Christmas stuff out these tags kind of saved the day I made that 
cover is made from a tag. There's a couple of them that were made from tags. Um, so they kind of saved the day. Some of them were just so pretty by themselves. I didn't do much to decorate the front because they're so gorgeous. Um, but I did do decorate the back. Um, this is a, I saw somebody do it. I can't remember who, if I can find the video, I'll, I'll link it. But she just threw on some thread bits before she glued her pieces down and it looked so cool. I tried it and I really liked it how it turned out little flags from one of the kits I was surprised to see how many Christmas kits I purchased I had no idea that I had purchased that many um, but they sure saved the day in this project that I gave myself absolutely no time to do I had hoped to do a whole bunch of these little guys this is just a piece of light cardboard a tag with a tearaway notebooks with scraps on the back. Um, but I didn't uh, save myself enough time. I didn't, I did not do. So this is a one of a kind. <laughs> That's why he's kind of hidden away. So bookmarks, again, they were so beautiful. So well done and layered. I don't think I did anything to this one. It's as is, even the postage stamp, um, the postmark stamp. Uh, I didn't do anything. The back is a napkin. And most of the tags on the bookmarks, I, I cut out pretty roughly, and then I glued them all onto file folders, so they're not... They're not super thick or bulky, but they do have some weight to them. They're not paper anymore. So there's two layers of paper or paper and a napkin on file folders. So super thin if you wanted to put them in a book, you know, tuck, tuck them in a journal. They're not going to take up much room. Same thing with the tags. Almost everything that's dimensional here is glued onto a file folder before it was put on. So just to show you some more of the tags, so beautiful. I don't know if it's my camera that's not focusing or my eyes. Um, this one does have uh, some stackables from Artie Mae's stackables and some pieces of material and craft paper. And I think this tag, so that's from stackables. I believe this is a an Artie Mae's tag. This tag here label whatever is um, from my porch prints this is a piece of material right here and some silent night music pages on the back another bookmark so beautiful my porch prints pine cone and my tree stamp with stars Another tag with a little tag and I'm not sure what I did but I printed one of my kits nine up six pages nine up each on one single sheet of paper so these are pages <laughs> from a journal uh, that ended up getting miniaturized like honey I shrunk the kids I don't know how I did it but it sure is cute, and I made use of them for sure. Uh, this one I just hand drew some lines on. Very, very primitive. Some of the Artie Mays tags are these shades of black and white and gray. Oh, so beautiful. I just loved it, and it went perfectly with that material that I like so much. That's what this is, is just a scrap of that material. My poor print, my porch print tag. Sort of matchy-matchy coordinating bookmark. I don't know if you can see, but oh, there they are. They have bling, it has bling. And the, again, I didn't do anything to this other side because it's so pretty all by itself. 
Um, fabric covered journal, wrapping paper covered journal, plain tag on the one side, and decorated on the back side. This one has tickets. Um, pull out a little all upside down, of course. I love tickets. My camera is just not liking the tree. It doesn't know what to focus on. I apologize for the uh, poor focusing quality, but I totally understand. There's a lot going on here. Um, some bookmarks were covered in material. And then music paper and flags on the back. Did that tag, another bookmark. Yeah, I just fell in love with that tree stamp and the stars that just, oh, so fun. More Artie Mays tag. This one has bits of an applique. Stackable, some uh, corrugated cardboard. And just a torn bit of paper. And plain Jane on the back. And the other thing that I ended up doing um, was just some random bits. Again, I didn't, I didn't expect to find them, either Artsology or Artie Mays. I'm sorry, I don't remember which is which now. Um, Pre-cut, uh, just miniature file folder, and I filled it with some pretty papers, you know, because it's a junk journal themed Christmas tree. We have paper everywhere, right? So these are just paper clipped in a little file folder and it's just, it's just tucked in there. There's two of those. There's the other one. And then I found these teeny tiny little envelopes I don't know if you can see oh, this one doesn't have it this one has a little stamp I cut out of an art Artie Mays stackables I cut a tiny tiny little stamp anyway this one is back um, with a page out of a Christmas Carol Stamped and just folded. I do believe that that is all she wrote. This was such a fun project. I really wish I'd have given myself more time than I did, um, but I learned a lot. I have a truckload of scraps to play with, some really cool ideas for um, <clears throat> my altered book, which I will get to. I will. I am going to do my beautiful vintage altered book for Christmas one of these years. Last year didn't work out, this year, well, time's up. <laughs> Game over. This was really fun. If you've been watching along, thank you so much. Thank you so much for indulging this behavior. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's certainly a trip. I wish you all a Merry Christmas if you're celebrating that particular holiday. If you're just taking the week off to chill, good for you. Enjoy that too. Whatever it is you're doing, enjoy the bejesus out of it. I'm going to leave you with a few pictures and head off to sit by the light of and enjoy my tree for a bit. My take at the lake out for now.